Are you supposed to be on the table? Are you supposed to be on the table? What's up guys and gals? Welcome to another episode of Q&A Giveaway, where you ask me questions about photography, filmmaking, and fatherhood, and I answer you and hook you up with a $25 gift card to get some cool photography gear. Come here. Come on. Okay, come on. Here we go. Oh. Buddies. Okay, so I got a question from a lady named Allie on Facebook. Allie. Can you say Allie? Allie. Yeah, good. Wow. Allie. So Allie asked, uh, living with three boys, how do you manage keeping toys and typical boy mess from creating extra distractions in your pictures and keep the focus on your subject matter? I think that's a great question, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. The first tip is to place ordinary objects really close to your lens. And what this will do, it'll help frame the subject. It'll add some color and some bokeh and some really interesting effects to the foreground. You can also use things like furniture to help lead the eye all the way up to your subject's face. And this is a great way to add some interest into your photos. The next tip is to get on your subject's level. So if you're photographing kids, you wanna get down on the ground close to where they are and get immersed in their world. When you're face to face with your subject, it opens up the opportunity to capture natural expressions. By getting on their level, it forces you into a new perspective and it also helps eliminate any distractions that might be on the floor like a big mess. The last tip is to get close and focus on the details. As you get closer, the background and surrounding distractions become less evident and it puts all of your focus on your subject. By getting close, you can put more emphasis on tiny things like eyes, hands, and feet. In all honesty, photos like these are ones I cherish most. To take this tip a step further, you can also focus on the toys that they love and really preserve a moment in time of them playing with it. As promised, I'm gonna hook Allie up with a $25 gift card to get some cool photography gear. If you'd like your question featured in the next episode, just click that little like button and then leave your question down below. Until next time, happy clicking. <laughs>